After the fatal shooting on a Metro Transit bus last week, a second surviving victim was rushed to HCMC. Four days later, police claimed in a search warrant application that the 27-year-old victim was, quote, storing a handgun in his hospital room, number 318, and had multiple felonies. Records show police did, in fact, find a revolver in the room. Honestly, this is the first time uh, in Minnesota that I've heard of it. But Carrie Mortrude of the Minnesota Nurses Association says it's part of a bigger problem. It doesn't have to be that anyone brings anything in. In a survey, 70% of union nurses reported being victims of violence. They're calling for more staffing and security to be able to respond during safety codes. We don't have the resources to deal with that at the rate at which it occurs. Hospitals dispute that. People matter. This is one of our top priorities. It has been, it will always be. Dr. Rahul Karani of the Minnesota Hospital Association says facilities have bolstered training, created safety committees, and formed closer relationships with law enforcement. Our um, hospitals across Minnesota have been working on this issue for the last many years. The HCMC incident has some asking about metal detectors, but no hospital association members currently use them. That's one of the measures that could be thought about. We have to think about the pros and cons of that. Danny, what is HCMC's response to all this? Well, Randy, a hospital spokesperson says the victim that had the gun in his room is no longer a patient, and they assure the public that security is always notified of any suspicious items and that they do work closely with MPD and the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office. All right, thank you.